News at 8 brought you the failed attempts to launch Jirongo's quote, newest political vehicle, the Federal Party of Kenya, on which he planned to seek the country's top job. But as it turns out now, it's not his party. In fact, party officials are surprised that he has been using its name. Some of the officials who opt to remain unnamed have sent him text messages saying, quote, We hear you want to launch your presidential campaign on our party ticket. Kindly desist from any such arrangements until the party National Executive Council meets, end quote. The officials claim Jurongo has been holding improper meetings with the wrong people, promising him the party's ticket. The party officials say the four alleged imposters, A. Okello, Mukewa, Philip and A. Kizito, were not party officials. This, they caution him, is not the right procedure. This, a clear point of why even the fourth planned launch date last Sunday has come and gone and Jurongo is still alone. The law requires a presidential hopeful to be a member of a party on whose ticket he will vie for at least three months before the election. So which way forward for Jurongo while his fellow state house contenders have hit the ground running? Will he really even it out in time? Jackie Maribe, News at 8.